Let's get this party started. I'm going to show you how I use Text Expander to save myself a ton of time by not having to type the same things over and over again. It's a lifesaver in terms of saving time in my email, but I'm also going to show you different ways it streamlines my workflow overall. Text Expander is a Mac app that lives in your menu bar. How it works is you create abbreviation keywords that you associate with blocks of text. When you type an abbreviation keyword, whatever text you associated with that keyword will automatically fill into any website, application, and basically anywhere that you can enter text on your computer. First, let's take a look at how I use it to create and reply to emails. So use case number one meeting requests. Here's an email requesting to schedule time with me. I use schedule once which is a schedule calendar management service. You should check it out. It's awesome. But I use it to manage my calendar so I have a text expander snippet that pops up a few drop down menus with options to choose from so I can direct the requester to the correct place within my online booking page. And then I can add my salutation and signature using those keyword abbreviations and I'm ready to hit send. Use case number two, outreach or pitch emails. It's really useful when you're sending basically the same email copy to a number of different people. Right now I'm reaching out to people to ask them for a testimonial that I can feature on my website. Most of the copy is the same, but there are parts of the email that I want to modify based on who I'm sending it to. I use my testimonial keyword abbreviation, which autofills most of the text, but leaves some blanks in for me to customize. Use case number three, standard responses. Like me, you probably get a lot of emails where you reply with a standard response. When someone reaches out to me inquiring about a work hacks workshop, I simply type my keyword abbreviation to autofill my standard response. Again, add my salutation and signature using those keyword abbreviations, and I'm ready to hit send. Next, I'll show you how I use it to quickly set up new account profile information. Instead of having to type in the URLs of all of my social profiles, I can use my keyword abbreviations to auto-fill in my website and other profile URLs. This is especially useful for those URLs that are hard to remember, like a podcast URL. This next use case is one of my favorites, consistent file naming. Let's open a new document and save it. If I type in my keyword abbreviation for my naming convention, a pop-up appears with a drop-down where I select what category of document it is, followed by the document name that I'll type in, hit enter, and it auto-inserts the current year, month, and day. It's like magic! <laughs> and this just scratches the surface of what Text Expander can do. I really cannot imagine my life without it. It does take a bit to get set up, but you can start small, even with just simple things like autofilling your email or a, your signature. But it's well worth the time that you're going to save as you start to use it every day. They offer a free trial, so go download it and give it a try. I swear you will get hooked, you'll end up buying it, and over time you'll start using it and it will just save you so much time and frustration and brain power when it comes to the manual tasks that we have to do every day when it comes to writing the same things over and over and over again. This is Julia from WorkHacks and thanks for watching.